Hey everyone, this is Julia from Crocoblock and in this tutorial you will find out how to confirm appointments via links. I will use the MedCenter dynamic template to show the whole process of setting up the Jet Appointment plugin and also demonstrate the final result for both doctors and patients. By the way, your likes and comments help us promote our channel and if you want us to make more useful videos, please make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get to this. First of all, go to Jet Appointments – Settings. Click on the Advanced tab and enable Generate Confirmation URLs. Now proceed to the Workflows tab. First of all, make it active right here and then click on the New Workflow Item button. We will create two events for the appointment creation and also for the appointment when its status is changed, for example, cancelled or confirmed. Both events will contain a couple of actions set to send notifications to a doctor and patient. So in the event, select Trigger event Appointment created and add a new action. Fill in the fields, starting from the action name. Let it be, for example, Doctor, Confirm. Then below, in the Email to, click on the Macros button and choose Provider Meta field from the list. In the Meta field to Get, enter the following, Underscore, Email, and hit Apply. Repeat the same thing with the email subject field, however, this time choose service title from the list. Of course, you will also need to enter the sent from email and sent from name. The email message will contain two macros – confirm appointment URL and cancel appointment URL so the user can click on the needed one. Add a message that says Confirm an appointment and Cancel an appointment right next to the macros. And we will need one more action for user notification. The action type will be the same – Send email. In the email too, Click on the Macros button and select Appointment User Email. The Email Subject field will be set to Service Title Macro. Below, enter the same email, name, and also confirmation message that will include the Service Title Macro. Now scroll down a bit and click on the new Workflow button. First of all, set event to Appointment Status Changed, then set the next field to Cancelled and leave the default option immediately for the start. We will also need to add a new action for this workflow item. And this time it will be a notification about the cancellation. In the email to choose appointment user email macro, set email subject to service title, and fill in the next two fields. And there will be a different message this time. For example, sorry, your appointment was cancelled. And the next workflow we will create is for the completed appointment. Set the same event appointment status changed and status this time will be completed. Add a new action for the user approve notification. 
again set appointment user email for email to and the service title macro for the subject. The following fields should be the same as the ones from the previous actions. And of course, don't forget to add the email message, for example, your appointment was approved. However, we're not done here. Lastly, I will add one more action and name it Provider Time Notification. Email to this time will be set to Provider Meta Field Macro and you should enter the following underscore email. And don't forget to hit apply. Email subject sent from email and name it will be the same as in the previous actions. As it's a message for the provider, it will include the information related to a doctor. For example, you can use appointment start date slash time macro to display the appointment day in the email message. And that's it. I will proceed to the doctor's page to make an appointment. Of course, I will choose the date and time and also fill in the contact details. Once the confirm button is clicked, a new appointment with pending status will appear in the appointments dashboard. Now let me open a doctor's inbox and as you can see, there is already a message that contains two links. One to confirm the appointment and the second link to cancel it. At the same time, there is also a new email in the patient's inbox. So let's say I'm a doctor. I will try canceling the appointment right via the link I got in the email. OK, I was redirected to the page that says appointment cancelled. But what does the patient receive? After the cancellation, a user will get a message, sorry, your appointment was cancelled. If you check the appointment from the dashboard, you will see that its status also changed. I will make one more appointment. And this time, confirm it via the provided link. In this case, the patient will get a confirmation message. And appointment status will be completed. So we've covered everything you need to know to set up the plugin for confirming appointments via links. I hope this video was useful for you and in case you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.